Here we go. Here we go. It's a big flight. It is a big flight. Is it 4 hours 16 still? Yep, 4 hours 16. Flying to Iceland has been the top of my bucket list for, well, as long as I've been a pilot, to be honest. I've tried and failed on a few occasions in the past, but today, I'm in Wick in far north Scotland, the gateway to the North Atlantic. And if everything goes according to plan, if we get our clearances, if the weather improves a little bit, and if the freezing conditions aren't too bad over the North Atlantic, today, today I might actually achieve that dream of flying to Iceland. This is a massive day for me. Louis there, JP's there. How come we're not on here? Okay, yeah, send a picture. Yeah, I will. Wait, 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 wait. So we have a four hour flight now across the North Atlantic in a single engine aircraft. We obviously have to put on our survival suits, just in case. As you can see, we are now suited up. Everything has been done with Far North Aviation in terms of just uh, paying our bills, paying our landing fees, doing all the admin stuff. We're just gonna give the aircraft a quick pre-flight now. We're fueled up though, that was all done yesterday. Remember uh, three, Victor Papa, that's the airfield now open. Hold at Charlie, report ready for departure and I'll get you a departure clearance. And you want this on the backseat or? Uh, we'll hold at Charlie and we're actually just ready for departure now. Remember one two three Victor Papa. Remember one two three Victor Papa. After departure, route on track Bamra. Climb flight level one two zero. Squawk two two three two. Procedural service. After departure on track Bamra. Climb flight level one two zero. Squawk two two three two. Procedural service one two three Victor Papa. Number three Victor Papa. Correct. Scottish Control, November 123, Victor Papa, departed WIC, we are passing 3900, climbing flight level 120, direct Bamra. Uh, November 123, Victor Papa, Scottish, hello to you, and uh, Squawk Biden, please, what's your request exit level? Uh, well, just uh, if available, the traffic service, November 123, Victor Papa. Okay, traffic service, and it's going to be reduced traffic information transport on the aircraft only. Uh, when you're ready, you can direct to DEFB. Copy traffic service, and when ready, direct to DEFB, uh, 123, Victor Papa. Like on the wing now, right? You see the black bit on the wing. So that's the beginning of very light ice. It's the top of the cloud where that's the coldest. So that's where it was really forming. For two minutes, we could run it, try to clear, clear some of this off. Okay. You know, I mean, I don't know how necessary it is myself, but I mean that's enough there. Push it off even. Could that be any more beautiful? That's stunning. That's gorgeous. What Clouds as far as the eye can see. Three Victor Papa and my coverage as you get farther uh, north and west becomes worse and worse. Um, can you take uh, Iceland's uh, or Reykjavik's frequency, which is 126.750, in case I lose two-way with you? And if you can't hear me sort of by uh, deathly, then if you just want to call them on that, they will be expecting you. But otherwise, stay with me for control as long as you can. Understood. We'll remain with you as long as you can. And we've got 126.750 for Iceland if and uh, when we lose you. November 1 to 3 Victor Papa. All correct, thanks for that. It is a long flight. Is it 4 hours 16 still? Yep, 4 hours 16. When you're planning it... When you're planning it on a map, it always feels a lot less, doesn't it? When you draw the line just from there to there and you think, oh yeah, that's very doable, but... Yeah, when you're actually in it... November 1, 2, 3, Victor Papa, recall me please, 1, 2, 8, decimal 6, 7, 5. 128 decimal 675, November 123, Victor Papa. Scottish Control, November 123, Victor Papa, maintaining flight level 120. November 123, Victor Papa, thank you very much for that. Can you just confirm your estimate for DEV B, please? 123, Victor Papa, DEV B, 
UTC 1028. 1028, copy, thanks for that. How many times have you done this trip? I don't know, 10, 12. Wow. And what have you flown across here? You've done pistons across just here. Just vision jet. No, never. Uh, this, is my, this is my first time in a piston. Oh, this is your first in a piston. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what would it take you in the vision jet? Would take us about two hours and ten minutes. God. Yeah. And for us, it was what four, four and a half. Four, yeah, four. Well, right now it looks like it's four forty. Four forty. Yeah. When we flew to Norway, we kind of just went directly east from here. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. But by the time we get to when we get our oceanic clearance, this will be the furthest north I've ever flown in an airplane. This big deal. I remember in Norway, we were always thinking that actually there were a lot of options because we had a lot of oil platforms there in the North Sea. Yeah, right? We never yeah. thought that we were really isolated. I mean, we're isolated here. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. You're a lot more alone out here. Feels a lot more alone. Still, we have options. Yeah, you have the Pharaohs, which have the tailwind towards it, or even Wick. Maybe we can always come back. Or yeah. Storing Away is just off to our left. Yeah, once we're halfway, we have the Faroe Islands. Now, we should be getting our um, Icelandic, not our Icelandic, our oceanic clearance soon, shouldn't we? Because we're approaching the boundary for Reykjavik's control. That's right. But we, I haven't heard from Scottish radio for a bit. So if we continue not to hear from them, maybe we'll try Iceland before we go in. Well, I think you're right. What would happen if we didn't get either of them and we're passing through? We crack control. on. We keep going until we can raise them. Yeah. yeah. Mostly because our clearance out of uh, Wick was to Iceland, to Reykjavik. Icelandic radar, November 123, Victor Papa request. Number 123, Victor Papa, Reykjavik, that's fine, score for 3413. 3413, November 123, Victor Papa. Number 123, Victor Papa, what is your request? Uh, November 123, Victor Papa, um, well, we are just looking for our Icelandic clearance, and we, if possible, for some track shortening if we could get direct to Olnos. Number one, two, three, with the Papa, you fit to the deck. Why are that soon? That I can soon. It's from Fashira, from your uniform, no weather, then Echo Lima. I missed that, really. Asra, and then, then Echo Lima. Okay. Number one, two, three, with the Papa, maintain that platoon one. And uh, November one, two, three, Victor Papa is cleared to Reykjavik by Ratsu, Asra, uh, Echo Lima. Maintaining flight level 100. Over 123, Victor Papa, Doctor. Thank you. I just missed the middle waypoint. Reykjavik information, November 123, Victor Papa is 14 degrees west, maintaining flight level 100. And uh, negative this rider. I'll give it a few more minutes. And the weather looks better up ahead. Clouds are breaking up. I can feel the temperature increasing. Edwin's decreasing. Everything is getting better. Reykjavik, November 123, Victor Papa just trying you on 126 decimal 55. November 123, uh, Victor Papa, we were just trying Reykjavik on 119 decimal 7, but uh, unable to read, so we're just reporting in uh, on your frequency now. Oh, very good, very good. Yeah, reading you about 3, 4 out of 5, thank you. November 123, Victor Papa. Victor Papa, you have a 126 decimal 55 for backstop, there's no joy with me. Hey Firm, we just uh, spoke to them on 126 decimal 55, but we're reading you clear now, so we'll remain on 119 decimal 7. Roger. I haven't got 3G, why have you got 3G? I don't know. 75 
nautical miles away from land. Yeah. I've just downloaded a whole set of emails. You've got your emails. I got all my emails in that have come through. The only thing is now you're on Icelandic data. Yeah, that's right. I'm How hoping there's you a, think that is. I think it's ten dollars and I get a gig of data. The good thing is we have sixteen gallons now. We had strong headwinds leaving Wick. That's remaining over Reykjavik. 16 gallons remaining. 16 gallons remaining over Reykjavik. So that's a good hour and a little bit even. So that's excellent. Uh, you know, the wind settled down uh, halfway through as expected. Yeah. Yeah. So we got you a little bit of time back, which is nice. So we're coming over from a waypoint called Echo Lima, which is just to the east of Wick. The forecasted weather was to be VFR, BMC, and nice clear skies. So if that's true, I think we'll just descend, and we'll maybe descend a little bit early so we can do some, uh, not not low level flying, but at least we can be a little bit lower to the ground as we're rooting in, that'd be quite nice. Yep. Then we'll just ask for the visual, I think, and position ourselves either on a straight in for runway 01, which is the preferred north runway. That plan done? Plan done. Approach done. Another cashew? Yeah. Oh, Philippe, 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 Philippe. Through the clouds. Yeah, right there. That's definitely land right there. Ah, wow, there it is. Thank you, Vic Control. November 123, Victor Papa. We'd like to cancel IFR. We're going to descend down to around 2,000 feet and proceed visual along the coast to Reykjavik. November 123, Victor Papa cancelling. I'm sorry, 10138. What is your estimate for Reykjavik? And uh, estimate for Reykjavik will be in five zero minutes. November 123, Victor Papa is uh, one zero miles to the southeast, 2,900. We are visual, inbound with Juliet. 500. Winds uh, northeasterly, 8 knots, runway 01, clear to land. Runway 01, clear to land, November 123, Victor Papa. Okay. Six fifth one two five. Three, Papa, wind to zero nine zero after ten. Runway zero one clear for takeoff. Runway zero one clear for takeoff. November one two three. We just refueled at Reykjavik Airport after getting there from week this morning. Because we got a little bit of time on our hands this afternoon, Philippe had a great idea of just doing some low level scenic flying, which, as you can see, it's just stunning landscape. Little waterfalls. Yeah, little waterfalls everywhere. Oh yeah, look at that. Defo volcano right there. And complete desolation. There's nothing. Nothing here. There's nothing here. Human made. Us and puffins. Us and puffins. landscape isn't it? You don't see anything like this. It's so cool. Yeah. I still have a polar bear count at zero. There's such a freedom, isn't it? Just to be able to do that. We have now just been the most north you've ever been. Yeah, of course, because it's north, north of Reykjavik. And Reykjavik yeah. is going to be the most northern, and now we've gone even further. Yeah, of course. Today's been such a big day for me. It's been such it's a, a big lot of day firsts. For me. A lot of firsts. Thanks for making this happen. Oh man, it's awesome. I've always wanted to see the ice cap over Greenland. Check, this out. Check out this view. Terrain ahead. Uh, Terrain big, ahead. If you want to see a polar bear. How is this even possible? Our world is so amazing. Yeah, well said. 